Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite swings in the major leagues. It's Yoan Moncada from the Chicago White Sox. I kind of had a breakout year last year. Displays ridiculous power. Hits the ball, barrels the ball so much. Hits the ball so hard. He's going, to be, uh, he's going to be a great player for a long time with his swing. And so what I want to show and what I want to talk about for a minute, um, I'll play this here for a second. Um, but what I want to talk about is what he does to be able to create some of this elite bat speed. He has elite bat speed. Like I said, he hits the ball really, really hard. And so uh, what I want to show is how he uses his body. What does he do with his body to be able to create some of that bat speed? Now, there's no doubt that... You know, some of it, people are going to say, yeah, he's a big, huge, strong dude, athletic, and there's no doubt about that. That helps. Um, but you can be as big and strong as you want. If you don't use your body well, you're not going to be able to create the type of bat speed uh, that you want, right? And so it really is about having a mechanical advantage. How does your body move? How does it work? And so I get tons of emails and, and DMs on Instagram um, from people saying, you know, how do I how do I create more bat speed? I, I can't figure it out. I, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. And so it almost always comes back to, in most cases, comes back to how you're how you're moving your body. What's your swing look like, right? It comes back to the swing. And so let's look real quick. Uh, we've talked about a lot of these aspects of the swing in other videos, but I want to show you how Moncada does it um, because it is amazing to watch. I thought this was a great view to look at right here. So let's slow it down here for a second. And so... You know, the first thing that you're going to notice when I start to go right here is that you're going to see that his lower half, right, is going to start to turn. So I know we can't see his back leg. We can only see his front leg. But when that back leg right here starts to turn, what you're going to notice is the lower half is starting to open, right? So this leg is, this back leg is turning. And so you can see that opening up of the lower body. But you notice the upper body is not opening up with the lower body, right? So if you look at his last name right here, you look at the Moncada. Notice how the lower body is opening because that leg is starting to turn, right? And his foot isn't in the ground yet. I know we can't see it. But you can see his heel still way up in the air. So right as his foot's coming into the ground, you see that leg starting to turn lower body starting to open up but upper body is not it's not until still not right so even there all of that still no upper body opening up still no still no still no okay now here it goes right there okay so you've got all this happening so what is happening here well first think about it like an elastic band all right if you want to shoot an elastic band I'm gonna play this while I talk for a second if you want to shoot an elastic band okay you put it around your thumb right And I'm sure many of you most of you have probably done this you take an elastic band you put it around your thumb and then you take your other hand and you pull back on that band right so now you've got one end of the band around your thumb let's just say on your right hand and then you're gonna take your left hand you're gonna take your index finger and your thumb of your left hand and you're gonna pull the other part of the band back so you're gonna pull one part back and you're gonna push the other part of the band forward with your thumb so the two parts of the band are stretching away from each other right and so that stretch Right? That creates tension, or you can call it stretch in the band. And now when I finally release with my finger, my index finger, my thumb, when I release that elastic band, the band's going to shoot very, very quickly. Okay, So you've created, you stretch the band, you fire the band. All right. Think about the same thing happening in your body. You have to be able to create that type of stretch. Now people call it, you know, all different things. Some people call it separation. Some people call it torque. Some people call it stretch. Some people call it tension. I mean, there's all these things that you can call it. But ultimately, it is creating that within your body that is going to allow you to whip the barrel into the zone and not just push the barrel into the zone, right? You wouldn't take that elastic band and try to throw it. Taking the band and throwing it, I don't care if you're a Raldis Chapman, you're not going to be able to throw the band faster than you can if you stretch it and then release it, all right? So now, that, so what you're seeing right here is that stretch happening. 
that separation happening. And so as he moves into the ball, we don't have when he, when he coils up, right? But you can see, if you've watched our other videos, we talk about getting the back pocket turned towards the pitcher, right? You already see that. So he's already getting coiled, and he's getting that leg loaded and ready to turn. Now he starts to move forward, right? So he starts to stride. As he's striding forward, he's pulling back with his upper body, right? So he's not allowing his upper body to go. He's resisting against that move forward. So think about that as the stretching back of the elastic band, right? So think about your thumb. When you push your forward thumb, think about that as the stride. And then when you pull back the elastic with your index finger and your thumb, think about that as pulling back with the upper body, not allowing the upper body to go forward, right? This move right here. Watch his upper body. See this move right here? It's not just shoving your hands back, but it's it's pulling back. You see this arm right here, how it's working back this way? Right, so he's pulling back as he is striding. And then you'll notice even when the leg just starts to turn, right, you see that opening, what do you notice? You still see a little bit of the pulling back, right? So th this upper body is resisting. It's not just opening with the lower body. If it just opened with the lower body, you wouldn't get any stretch. You'd release your stretch too early. And so this opens, this is pulling back, opposite directions. So it's stretch the band, stretch the band, stretch the band, stretch the band, and now it's release. And that's when the barrel is whipped into the zone. Not push forward, but whipped. All right, let's watch it one more time. I can't play it any faster, it only happens in slow motion, but it's it's... Stretch, 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 whip. So that part right here, this part right there, right? So we've done all the stretching, and now this is when you take the index finger and the other thumb off the band, and it fires. Okay? Now we've talked, I've made other videos talking about... Um, how you'll see upper body, the upper body of the hitter. It doesn't just pull hard or rotate the same direction as the leg. Uh, it doesn't go forward, but it tilts back a little bit. You can watch our other videos on that. Um, that goes into it a little bit. creates even a little bit more of that separation. But this is, this is the, basic, the basic idea of it. And this is what you see with most elite hitters. Especially if you're watching from this angle, you'll see that a lot. And so, yeah, being big and strong, I mean, Moncada is a specimen. There's no doubt about it. But you can't just be, you know, a, a, a supreme athlete and be a good baseball player, be a good hitter. You have to be able to use your body the right way, in the right sequence. And so that's the key. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Uh, thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. We really, really appreciate that. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, go over and check out our Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash Antonelli Baseball. I've been posting a bunch of MLB The Show videos over there, streaming those. So go check that out. And that's all we have. We'll talk to you later.